So, welcome back to some more Platinum. Where the hell? Oh, yeah, we're up in the Ski Shack. Let's see, I cleared all the trainers back to the left, so let's check out the ones to the right. But first, there's a grass patch. And I'm not sure if we can actually catch something. Uh, Alright, so if we hit the... If the one... The 217 route sign drops down when we're in the grass, from that point north, we can actually catch something new. Doesn't look like this grass patch is part of that, though. You a trainer? Hello. I'm just gonna sit here and stare at you. Hello. <laughs> Short-sighted trainer. No idea who was up in front of our team. <laughs> oh, wow, a sun kern. It's actually really impressive. Ah, okay, we got Mr. Freeze up front since he can't get hurt by the hail. Which is actually quite useful. Alright, so quick icy wind. And there we go. I haven't caught anything there yet, but it's not uh, Bastiodon, huh? Let's see, Bastiodon is Rock Steel, so Chewbacca's Rock Smash would probably be the best way to handle it, or Chewbacca's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Surf, that's the word. I'll never understand why Fighting Type is strong to steel. Yeah, Rock makes sense because they like shatter bricks and stuff, but... You punch steel, you're gonna hurt your hand. <laughs> I also don't understand why steel is weak to ground, but I think they just had to have a couple extra weaknesses because it was just that much too strong. Yeah, that did a little bit of damage. Ugh, and then that annoying little hail. It does almost no damage, but it's just such continuous, like it just wears your team down. Really endure, you're really gonna endure on me. Well, that just means he, he'll he survive with one HP. Yeah, and then he attacks first, because apparently he's faster than Chewbacca, even though he's a gigantic, slow dinosaur. Did you catch something on this route, or is this a trainer battle? Um, I'm still on Route 216. Just north of me is Route 219. Oh, thank you, Hale. Endure doesn't do a damn thing in Hale. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's convenient. About to send in per ugly. All right, I'm going to switch out to Jaws. Alright, and we'll do a nice little crunch. If someone would like to do the exclamation point Pixelmon command in the uh, Twitch chat, because that solves the uh, problems that are... There we are. There's a reason I don't have an install guide for Pixelmon. It's already been done. There's no sense in making another one. Plus, they're pain. I really hate making tutorials and stuff like that because it's just so much editing and so much work getting it done. Much prefer playing a game because then I have fun while I'm doing it. All right, all healed up. I guess I'll a second train. Oh wow, deep snow. All right, so is there? Where's the little sign thingy that says the next route? Okay, once I get through here. Oh, okay, so up here is Route 217, so the first thing I encounter, wild. Hello, random person, and it's a blizzard. Maylene. Who the hell is Maylene? If I can use fly, I can get there instantly, but I'm walking for my training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold, because I get barefoot. I'm used to the cold, because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. Who the hell is Maylene? Was she, like, the person we helped through the forest or something? And it's a blizzard. I'm assuming this blizzard is really not going to go well for training, or er, for battles. I'm, I'm wondering if it's just hail, but this could be really, really bad. Okay, Bulbasaur. At least I have something I have an advantage over. 
Oh wow, these trainers are starting to get high level Pokemon again. So much for it being easy to walk through. Maylene was the fighting gym leader. Ah, okay. I don't think we had a huge amount of trouble with her, so I completely forgot about her. Maybe we did have trouble with her. I don't remember. About to send in Snover. Well, I'm going to keep battling Miss Mr. Freeze, because at least I have... I think Snover is the one I have. Yeah, I still have partial type advantage over. And the less damage I take from that continuous hail, the better. Nice. It's always nice when they have Grass-type Pokémon when you're battling with Mr. Freeze. Ugh, this does not look like a friendly route. How far? This is one of those ridiculously... Yeah, that's a long way. That is not a short route. Oh, man. Please let there not be ninjas or some random crap. I don't think I have an easy way of getting back to the, uh, the healing hut, either. Ooh, there's loot. Is there wild Pokemon in these snowbanks? Or is this just a gigantic field of snow? No, I don't mind a gigantic field of snow and loot. And also, there were trainers back on that hill back there, but I, there was no way to actually getting up to the- Up! Oh, fucking ninjas. Ah, oh, it's always the damn ninjas. Oh no. Okay. Well, this this is this is on a, not ideal. It's an electrode. Ten to one at level thirty nine. I'm betting that electrode has explosion. So we're just gonna go dig down and hopefully avoid it. Ninja with an exploding Pokemon. This this is not good in almost any situation. Come on, use explosion. Blow yourself up while I'm underground, enjoying the nice, warm air. Oh, charge beam. You missed. Okay. I'm just going to keep using dig. It's the only thing I have that's going to keep me safe from that potential explosion. Or I'll just pretty much one-shot it. Ooh, now I can just ice shard to kill him, so I'll guarantee I go first. Yeah. That's probably the better way to do this. Okay, that was a lot less dangerous than I was expecting that to be. Alright. There goes Ninja Boy Matthew. Alright, there's the Ultra Ball. I'm going to go explore down over this way, since it doesn't seem like there's wild Pokemon yet on this round. Yeah, it's really going to bug me. I'm going to go back, because there was a lot of loot over by that healing cabin, and there's got to be a way to get down over to it. Plus, I can also hit the healing guy over here again. God, these steep snowbanks just drive me nuts, because I'm like sitting here running along, and it's just like, nope, you're going to crawl. All right. I've already fought all of you guys. Oh, that's how you get up. Okay, you need rock climb to get up the rest of these guys. All right, we'll remember. God, I need to go back over the map like once we get the last of the uh, HMs and just get all of the loot we would have missed. Oh, sweet, it's not a super blizzard up. Oh, nope, there it goes. Damn it, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Alright, there's the stupid ninja. Alright, let's fight the skier. Even though we can completely avoid him. Alright, let's see what you got. No, this is a separate route. The route where I didn't catch the Magby was Route 216, so I can catch something on this route if I ever encounter something wild. And unfortunately, this Hound Doom is fire, so that is not something we want to have out. So let's switch over to Jaws. He can take a few pieces of hail. And we're going to be pretty much immune to any of the uh, dark-type moves this guy uses. 
Wait, the foe's Delcati attack, the foe's Fortress's attack. The hell is beat up? Does it attack with his entire party? Well, we know it has a Fortress and a Delcati, so the Delcati will be easy to kill. Fortress is steel and something? I don't remember what it is. It's steel and water, maybe? All I know is Fortress has a good chance of explosion at this level, which is not going to be fun. So let's see if it actually does reveal the rest of his Pokémon. In which case, that beat-up is a really nice move. Like, that helps me out a lot. Yeah, he has a Delcaddy, yeah, so it's revealing it. I'm going to switch back to Mr. Freeze so we can minimize the damage we take. Steel and Bug. And this is like one of those situations where having a fire move would have been really, really nice, and I don't have one. So, steel and bug, ground won't help me much. Ugh. So I'm basically going to have to throw... I don't know what I'm going to have to throw out. I think I'm going to have to throw out... Poison Ivy. As stupid as that sounds... Because any steel moves Fortress has is going to kill Rex. No one else is going to be resistant or have any super effective moves. Poison Ivy can put it to sleep and Leech Seed it, and we can kill it that way. Uh, what level is the Fortress? Um, no idea. It's going to be high Fort 30s. This is the only thing we have that we have an option for. Um, it'll only have one steel type move. Level 37. It can only have one steel type move. Uh, mirror shot. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 no I'm wrong. Uh, it can start with heavy slam. That's not good. Besides, rock wouldn't be really terribly good against it anyway. Cause it oh, never mind. Heavy slam it. wasn't in this. Gen. Fortress has a really so, yeah, good typing. Shot. It just has a really good typing in general. All right, let's leech seed it. So that'll draw some health out of it per turn. Be careful about self-destruct. Yeah, there's not much I can do with the self-destruct. I think I'm going to switch back to Miss Doc, uh, Mr. Freeze, or Dr. Freeze. Is it Mr. Freeze? It's Mr. Freeze. And then just keep digging. Because the dig will do neutral damage, but it'll keep me only hit taking half of the hits. And then I'm just going to wait it out. Because I can uh, just leech seed it to death from this point on. Because he can't switch out or anything. He's staying asleep a long time, which is always a good thing. And I'm hoping having a 10 level advantage might save me from explosion. Rex is really the only one who can tank it. Well, actually, Rex can't even tank an explosion. He has low defense, so... Yeah, I'm hoping I'm just underground when it decides to kill itself. Oh, there's it. Oh, it's got mirror shot. Not good. I think steel's effective against ice, isn't it, too? Leech Seed Sapping, and then Dig. Come on, kill it. Just kill it. Just kill it. Ah! Don't kill Dr. Mr. Freeze. Don't kill Mr. Freeze. Don't kill Mr. Freeze. Don't... Ooh. Oh, super effective, but does, like, no damage. Okay. Woo! And then I'll take some damage from the Hail. You'll take some damage from the Leech Seed. I'll heal up a bit, and then I'm going to dig down again so that you die while I'm underground. Later, loser! And that's why Dig is an amazing move. And now it's going to die. Whew. Dodge that one. And that's why Leech Seed is also an amazing move. And now we're going to run back and heal. Or hobble back because it's way steep snow. Seriously, what kid, 10-year-old kid in his right mind is going to be out here in this way steep snow trying to run... Northern Lake. Just let them have the Pokemon. They probably already have it. There's like nothing spawning in that grass patch either. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, Ice Shard would have probably worked up there at the end. Yeah, I've run back through, back and forth through that grass patch a whole bunch of times, and not a single thing has attacked me. I hate ninjas, though. I hate ninjas so much. Oh wow, this is uh, this snows up to my neck. That's this is probably where you find a Pokemon. Ugh. Come on, out of the deep snow, out of the deep snow. There we go. Must find more loot first. Is there any loot? Oh, actually, is there any loot hidden in this deep snow? Hmm. Alright, let's go kick, take this skier on. Boo! See, I'm, I much prefer rainy days to snowy days, because... You know, the rain, you can go outside and whatnot, and it's not freezing. Oh, it's a Beedrill. Well, this is going to be a quick shot. <laughs> Actually, is Beedrill flying, or is it nope, Beedrill bug poison? poison? Ah. Oh, well. Shouldn't matter anyway. Icy Wind will probably still kill it. I think the Waterfall HM is in this snow, behind her house or near one. Ooh, well, that'll be great. And I think we just found the Move Forgetter somewhere. Where was the move forgetter? I think it was in Kanalov City or something. Maybe in the library, something like that. Kanalava, whatever Checking the hell it is. For you. And then an ice shard. That's why I keep ice shard around. It's so nice having a priority move. Oh, no waterfall. Damn. Rock climb. Oh well, that's still. Uh, good. He's in Kanalave on the eastern side of the city. Yeah, Rock Climb would still be good. And we can teach Rock Climb to Rex, giving him another stab move. It's a normal type move. Oh, it is? Yep. How can something be called Rock Climb? And that actually looks really suspicious for having hidden loot. Yep. Get on. Um, can I pass it by? Nope. A nugget. Well, at least we found some hidden loot. Eh, so slow moving through these snowbanks. Seriously, kid, turn around. You've got a blizzard going on, and you're up to your chin in snowbanks. Like, there's no reason to keep going. There's still no Pokemon on this route. This is driving me nuts. I want a grass patch somewhere. All right. There's a hidden loot. Ten to one, there's a damn ninja next to it. So I'm going to walk around and come at it from the top. Let's see if there's any new hidden loots. Alright, iron gives me what? That is up defense, I believe. Iron increases defense. Let's give that to Rex, because Rex is really going to need that. Oh, actually, we need to switch around the uh, EXP share while I'm thinking of it. Because uh, Venusaur has been gaining a few too many levels. <laughs> Let's give him... I think it was a Meadow Plate. Spooky plate? Oh, okay. Metal plate, there we are. Alright, then Rex can take the uh, EXP share. Oh no, huh. I guess there is no ninja around here. Cool. <laughs> Works for Free me. Loot. Those ninjas seem to have, like, the worst possible teams to fight against. Hmm, I wonder what that shadow on the snowbank could possibly be. 